Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover the header file in WordPress. Uh, so header.php is responsible for outputting anything that's going to go in the head and then usually the open body tag. We'll then want to use the closing body tag and the closing HTML tag in footer.php. So we're probably going to touch on footer.php a little bit too, uh, but we are going to focus primarily on header.php. So if you've been following along this series, you will have uh, learned about WordPress theme development, uh, and this pertains to developers. If you have not checked out some of the videos in this series, I do recommend you going back and watching some of those, or else some of this may not make sense to you, All right? So let's get started. We're here in local WP. We're going to go ahead and open up our project again by clicking on our folder there. And we're going to navigate down into WP content themes. And we've been working in the 2021 theme. Now in a future video, you're going to see us work on a WordPress boilerplate, one of our own. But right now for this series, we just went ahead and grabbed what's available to us right there uh, inside of WordPress. So Let's go ahead and drag and drop this on top of VS Code. And we're gonna expand the window here. And let's go ahead and make sure that we have, yep, the site open in Chrome. So let's click on header.php. And uh, in the previous video, we, we scrapped everything, we removed everything out of this file, and we just had the head tag with WP head function. And in a previous video, we talked about what the WP head function does. So let's go ahead and create some space there. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and build out our entire head section as we typically would on a web project. So if you're using VS Code, we can do the uh, exclamation mark and then hit tab. So what that does is build out sort of the shell for our page. So we have our doc type HTML, our HTML tag there, our head with our care set or character set of UTF-8 and all the good stuff, okay? So now what we can do is we can grab our WP head function and we're gonna delete it there. We're going to delete the tags here. We don't need any of those anymore because we have it up here already. And we do want to add the function just before the closing head tag. This allows WordPress and any plugin developer to inject things in that space uh, whenever a plugin is installed and needs to um, take advantage of this space or insert things in this particular space. A really good use case is a plugin like Yoast SEO or I believe Rank Math is another great uh, SEO plugin. Those types of plugins use this function a lot or what they call hooks to insert meta information in this space. So as a theme developer, this is gonna be really important for you. All right, so we're gonna leave everything else alone except for this. We're gonna go ahead and copy that, delete it. So we have our open body tag there. And this is the part where we wanna come down to our footer.php and we wanna go ahead and paste in our closing body in HTML. Now, we do want to take our footer just before the closing body tag and add WP footer in there. So the same thing applies to WP footer just as it did with WP head. This is a place where, say, JavaScript files that need to get loaded in by a plugin, they'll want to be loaded in through the footer, and they'll need this function there in your theme when you develop it so that those plugins can use the WP footer hook. So we're going to save that. And we're going to check the front end. Yeah, let's hit the view demo page. This was a previous uh, previous page that we created. So just to sort of demonstrate to make sure that everything is, is all in the right place, we can uh, inspect the DOM. And it's gonna be really difficult, I think, to, to judge it until we put something unique in these places. But if we take a look at our head, we can see we have our title document, our viewport, our care set, all that good stuff. If we take a look at our 
footer. And actually, this is a this is a way that we can test this right now. So there's a lot of script files being output here in the bottom that we did not put in there. So what we can do, or as a matter of fact, I'm sorry, we're not in the footer yet. We're still in the header. So what we can do is we can go ahead in the header file and we're going to comment out WP head. We're going to come back over here and we're going to refresh. Now, when I refresh and I open up the head section, you can see that all the scripts and all of that just went away. So that means the plugins in other WordPress core features have no way of inserting things in the head because we didn't put the, the function there uh, in place. So we'll undo that. We're going to refresh the page and we will see that everything is now being loaded back in as it should be. Same applies for the footer. Expand body, come down here. Okay, so just underneath post one there, we can see this script file and this script file. And then we can see this uh, ID WP admin bar. So when I uncomment this out in the footer file over here, and hit save, hit refresh, and that's gonna go away. see yep here's our body underneath post one we no longer see all of those files or the wp admin bar and we can see that the admin bar disappeared at the top so i'm going to uncomment that out hit save refresh and it's come back okay before we wrap this up we've talked about the header and the footer so let's talk about how uh, it all plays out inside of your index file and in future videos we're going to explore more files that stack on the index file, or that's the best way I like to think about it, because your index file is your fallback file. You have a single.php file, a page.php file, and it gets more specific from there. But if none of those files can be found, it's all going to fall back on the index.php file. However, and we're, we'll go ahead and remove this. And we want to clean this up just to make it very, very obvious here. The index file and those other files that I just mentioned, all of those are going to need to have git footer, uh, I'm sorry, git header and git footer. Those functions or these functions here in front of us are also provided to us by WordPress and they know to go and get the header.php file in the footer.php file. So all you really need to know here is on line one and on line five, those are going and retrieving those two files for us. That's just baked right into WordPress. So again, if I hit uh, H1 here and do hello world and hit refresh, again, our content, let's close the head, our content's being loaded in here in the middle. It's being sandwiched between the header and the footer. All right. So hopefully... Uh, you found value in that and uh, you can make a little bit more sense out of the header and header in the footer in the index file for uh, WordPress theme development. And we're going to keep pressing on in this series and unpacking more from theme development. Please uh, consider to hit the subscribe button below. I'm really terrible at these endings. Please hit the subscribe button below. Give me a follow on Twitter. And if you like this video, please consider sharing it with someone you know. Thanks.